Hello, I'm Dana Cowley and welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. We're in Salem, Oregon today covering the legislative issues. I have today Representative David Gomberg with me. David, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, a real us. pleasure to be here. Thank you. We really appreciate it. And you represent the northern part of Oregon's coast. That's right. Well, actually, the, uh, a big stretch of the coast uh, from Walport up to Tillamook and again inland to Sheridan. So I've got the central coast as well as the coastal range. It's a big district, about 100 miles long, 50 miles deep. And can you define your constituents for us, please? Yeah, well, I've got a wonderfully diverse constituency in that area. We take in five counties. Um, and, you know, if you want to look at the economy of the coast, really what you're talking about is whether you're looking at uh, small fishermen, whether you're talking dairy farms, whether you're talking tourism with hotels and, and gift shops. Uh, what we're talking about is small business. And, and I'm a small business guy. I'm right in the middle of all of that. As you know, I am a professional kite flyer. We manufacture kites, we wholesale around the country, and we've got our own stores in, uh, in Lincoln City and up in Seaside. So I'm a small business guy in the middle of a small business district. That's the core of our economy, but at the same time, about half of our constituents, about half of our population are over the age of 55. So seniors are a core part of, uh, of where I represent, which means that, that issues like security and, uh, and home maintenance and health care are a critical part of our concerns here in Salem. And this year in the legislature, what are you doing to help your constituents, well, particularly you know, your seniors and your small business people? You know, the, the small business issues are really critical. That's where jobs come from, uh, particularly out on the coast. Uh, most new jobs come from the smaller businesses. So we need to make sure that they've got the resources in, a, in order to uh, succeed. A big part of my legislative agenda has to do with community colleges and uh, the small business development centers. And what happens is uh, community colleges, uh, they help kids that haven't completed their core education. They train people for the jobs that are available in a particular region. They help students that want to go on to a four-year university degree uh, and, and save some costs closer to home. Mm -hmm. So they're critical to our, our education mix, but the small business development centers, if you want to start a restaurant, you know all about food. You don't know about QuickBooks, about accounting, about human resources, about social media, and you go to your small business development centers to get that kind of training and information. They have created last year over 2,000 new jobs in Oregon. People would be happy with five new jobs. <laughs> well, jobs, jobs are what we're talking about right now because we're struggling with the budget. Right. We're struggling the with the budget. Jobs generate the taxes that balance the budget. That's exactly what happens. If we can create more jobs, we can create more tax revenue without increasing anybody's taxes and certainly without cutting any, any new programs. And, and fortunately, the revenue forecast has been positive. That means we're moving in a positive direction and we're not looking at cutting programs the way we used to. We put a billion dollars into education uh, this year, a billion new dollars, which means uh, that, that we can start reducing class sizes, adding teaching days back, add new teachers to the process. That's all critically important. Uh, but but one of the other things that I've really been focused on, I'm serving on the General Government Subcommittee of Ways and Means. And we've been looking at some very interesting subjects with the Department of Revenue and with tax credits and, uh, and, uh, and, and revenue um, uh, rules. And what we've discovered is that the $600 million last year, that's the number of people that filed tax returns but didn't send in a check or make a payment plan, $600 million. Oh. And if you look at the people who cheated the system, who didn't file returns, who were paid under the table, who underreported their income, over a billion dollars. Wow. So that's, that's money that I'm trying to get back into the system and talk about how we can do a better job of collecting the taxes that are already owed to us so that we don't have to look at program cuts and we don't have to look at tax increases in order to fund the programs that are critical here. Representative David Gomberg, thank you so much for joining us. Thank we you. really appreciate you joining us and we appreciate you watching. I'm Dana Cowley and this is Charter Local Edition Northwest.